Hey guys, this is the do while tutorial because we're going to do a lot of whiling in our doing. So this tutorial, you know, if you're not familiar with the do while, it's pretty much the, the exact opposite of the while loop. But in this case, we're going to reverse it and we're going to say, and so being as it's the exact opposite of the while loop, let me just put it in here. So we've got to do while. And in this case, it's going to present our statement and then it's going to validate it by the condition of our while loop. So it's going to first do the statement and then validate it with the condition. Whereas the while statement, I'll type that out here for you, is going to validate our condition and then output our statement based on the condition, you know, as the loop progresses forward. So let's get rid of all this and let's jump into something that actually applies to us all. So we're going to first set up our integer and we're just going to put a simple integer as y. And then in this case, we're going to put our do statement, do while statement. Go ahead and double click it so it gives you a little template to follow off of. And so in this statement here, we're going to put a y. Actually, we're going to put uh, minus minus y. So as you remember from the previous tutorials where we basically went through the increments, we're going to subtract 1 from y every time this statement occurs. So we're going to start our, our do off with that. And then we're going to log it on the screen so we can see what's happening by simply putting nslog at sign quotations followed up by a percentage i for our integer and we're going to state the y variable onto the screen. Now after you've got your nslog stated we're going to put in a condition and this condition could be um, something as simple as y is greater than 40. Okay one thing that we're also going to throw in here is what our y variable is, is established as. So we're going to go y equals let's just say 50 in this case. So let me review before we run this application what this is actually going to do. So our integer y which is equal to 50 is going to slowly whoops is going to slowly increment down by one every time this program is ran. It's going to print on the screen so the first thing that should pop up is 49 because we're taking one away from 50 and then it's going to run this program over and over and over until we hit y is greater than 40. So let's go ahead and run this and we'll see the results below. So as we stated 50 minus 1 is going to be the 49 and it's going to run all the way down until it hits 40. So as you can see this is, is a useful function because then we can put in different variables, we can establish the flow of controls and programs and uh, basically flip the while loop into a do while. Um, so if that makes sense, you guys are on to the next tutorial and uh, we'll be going through a little bit more advanced stuff. And so I hope you guys subscribe and uh, check out some of the other videos. Check out the three doors, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the three doors video from the movie 21. You can't miss it in the playlist. I think it's like cool math or something like that. I mentioned it in a previous tutorial. You guys will love it. All right, we'll catch you guys later.